Very critical developments are taking place in the war between Ukraine and Russia. While the Ukrainian army managed to repel Russia's attacks, Zelensky made a very important statement. After Zelensky's statement, eyes turned to Crimea. So what makes Crimea so important? To understand this, let's remember the story of Crimea. Crimea, a peninsula north of the Black Sea, was occupied by Russia in 2014. It was Putin's first major invasion of Ukraine. Crimea is an interesting place with its own unique characteristics. First of all, its geographical structure increases Crimea's importance. Crimea is shaped like a peninsula and has natural harbors. These ports are very important for maritime trade. Crimean ports have a very wide hinterland. Crimea is also one of the most special regions of the Black Sea. Crimea, which draws attention as a protrusion in the Black Sea, is of great importance in terms of the continental shelf. The maritime borders of states are measured according to the continental shelf. The area of the Black Sea dominated by the state holding Crimea expands significantly. Russia wants to continue its occupation of Crimea in order to increase its dominance in the Black Sea, because it is believed that there is natural gas and oil in the Black Sea. Exploration for natural gas and oil continues. Last year, Turkey managed to find a significant amount of natural gas in the Black Sea. This proved that there are natural gas reserves in the Black Sea. Russia's occupation of Crimea is also very important for the Russian Navy. The Russian Navy wants to use Crimea to bomb Ukraine. The largest ports in the Black Sea for the Russian Navy are located in Crimea. But after the Ukrainian army's operations, the Russian Navy was forced to leave this port. In the first months of the war, the Ukrainian army carried out a very important operation against the Russian Navy. The Moscow, Russia's flagship in the Black Sea, was sunk. This was one of the most critical developments of the war. After the Ukrainian army damaged the Russian Navy, Russian ships started to withdraw. The withdrawal of Russian ships from the Crimean harbor changed the course of the war because Russia was planning to use these ships to bomb Ukraine. However, after the successful operations of the Ukrainian army, the Russian Navy could not succeed in this war. Sixteen ships were sunk in the Russian Navy. As a result of the sinking of these ships, the Russian army lost millions of dollars. Russia is experiencing a major military failure. The Russian army, which has withdrawn its navy in Crimea, is also having problems with its air bases. Following the explosions at the Balbek air base in Crimea, many of the military aircraft of the Russian army left Crimea. Russia's military presence in Crimea is decreasing day by day. On the other hand, the Ukrainian army managed to liberate Kherson, which completely changed the balance in Crimea. Russia had planned to increase its land connection with Crimea by occupying Kherson. However, the Ukrainian army liberated Kherson and the land connection between Russia and Crimea was significantly reduced. As a result, the Kerch Bridge remained as the only highway between Russia and Crimea. However, after the explosion on the Kerch Bridge, this road has also become unusable. Russia is unable to send support to its troops because it cannot reach Crimea by land. As a result of the Ukrainian army's successes, Russia is afraid of losing its control over Crimea. The Russian army started digging trenches in Crimea. In addition, many obstacles have been placed to prevent Ukrainian military vehicles. Russia especially does not want Ukraine's HIMARS to approach the area. The HIMARS sent to Ukraine by the United States have enormous destructive power. HIMARS missiles are destroying Russian military bases. Russia has not been successful in any of its defenses against HIMARS. In Crimea, they plan to prevent HIMARS from entering the country by placing interesting barriers on the border. But the Ukrainian army is determined to liberate Crimea. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky's statement on Crimea was very important. This war started in Crimea, it will end in Crimea, Zelensky said. Zelensky's statements received wide coverage in the world press. Zelensky is very determined to liberate Crimea, because he thinks that, once Crimea is liberated, this war will end completely. But why does Zelensky think so? 
How can the outcome in Crimea affect the course of the war so much? There is a simple answer to this question. Crimea is of symbolic importance for Putin's power. Crimea was the first major settlement that Putin occupied and it was the place where Putin proved his power. After occupying it, Putin took a tougher stance against dissidents in his country. Putin's invasion was portrayed as a great heroism by the Russian state media. Government supporters in Russia consider the occupation of Crimea to be Putin's greatest achievement. If the Ukrainian army succeeds in liberating Crimea, Putin's image will be severely damaged. Putin is making a great effort to keep his image always in good shape. Every day, Putin does PR activities to say that he is a very strong leader. Defeat in Crimea could completely destroy Putin's reputation. On the other hand, the reactions against Putin in Russia due to this war continue to increase day by day. The Russian people are especially angry about the failures in this war. About 100,000 soldiers in the Russian army died in this war. The Russian people blame Putin for these deaths. As the defeat in the war increases, so does the anger against Putin. Maintaining the occupation of Crimea is very important for Russia. Some experts claim that Russia is considering withdrawing from other regions to continue its occupation of Crimea. But the Ukrainian government is determined to liberate the whole country. Ukrainian leader Zelensky said that when this war is over, he wants to swim freely in the Crimean harbor. Zelensky's statements also make the people of Crimea happy. Many Ukrainians and Tatars live in Crimea. These citizens want the Russian occupation to end as soon as possible. That's why they feel great hope in Zelensky's statements. It is known that the citizens of Crimea have a harsh attitude towards Russian troops. Especially after the successes of the Ukrainian army, the people of Crimea have become more courageous in saying that they do not want Russian troops. Crimeans are giving Zelensky great support to end this occupation. This war could end completely if the Russian occupation of Crimea ends. It could also end the political career of the Russian leader Putin. It is also thought that there will be very serious riots and protests in Russia after this major defeat. Russia is going through the most difficult days in history. What do you think about the developments in Crimea? Do you think the Ukrainian army will be able to liberate Crimea? How do you think the liberation of Crimea will affect Putin's rule in Russia? Share your views with us. Follow us for more updates.